Greetings, Boogie fans! Michael here, and I should probably immediately address why I'm not filming this video in front of my usual plushy shelf background. That is because me and Jubilee are in the process of moving across the country, so for the next few weeks we are living out of this temporary housing, which doesn't have as fun of a background. The Pokemon trading card game has featured some pretty strange art over the years. Anywhere from a very depressing Cubone, to an Onyx trapped in a space watermelon, to a way too seductive Ambipom with a move called Furry Chance. But what you may not have known is that the Pokemon TCG, the modern trading card game, is not the only set of Pokemon cards that has ever been released. There was another one that only came out in Japan, and it featured some interesting art. That was the Pocket Monsters Cardass trading cards. Yes, Cardass, you heard me correctly. Apparently that's the name of Bandai's card vending machines that are in Japan, something that I didn't previously know existed. Apparently these Pokemon, or Pocket Monster cards, were available from these vending machines back in the late 90s in Japan. There is no game associated with these cards like the mainline TCG. These ones are simply collectibles. There are 153 different cards, one for each of the original 151 Kanto Pokemon, plus two special cards, one that features red and the base form starters, and one that features red and blue and the fully evolved starters. The back of each card features information and trivia about that particular species of Pokemon, but the much more interesting front of the card features original art of that Pokemon by Ken Sugimori the original illustrator for the Pokemon game's art. And each instance of a Pokemon on these cards is shown using a particular move. Much of this art is exclusive to this set of cards, so for the rest of this video, I'm gonna go over each and every one of the 151 species cards and react to them as a way to show off just how strange and interesting so much of these drawings are. Bulbasaur is using leech seed, but the seeds look basically like ladybug eggs. Ivysaur is using razor leaf. Nothing crazy here, it just looks cool. Venusaur is using vine whip. What stands out to me with this art is that the vines are covered in spikes, which I don't believe is seen anywhere else in Pokemon. Charmander is using Ember. Nothing crazy here. Charmeleon is using Slash. It seems this Charmeleon has two large claws and one small claw on each hand, whereas most of the time it's shown with all three claws close to the same size, with the center one being a tad longer. Charizard is using Flamethrower. Seems normal to me. Squirtle is using Withdraw, and what amuses me about this is that normally Withdraw entails Squirtle's head and limbs entering its shell. Here it just looks like a Psyduck with a headache. Wartortle is using Skull Bash. I suppose Skull Bash means that hexagons appear over its head? That's confusing to me. Blastoise is using Hydro Pump and looks normal. Maybe just a bit more hunched over than normal. Caterpie is using String Shot, and clearly this one is young because its aim is horrible. Metapod is using Harden, and it looks wildly different. First off, it's gray, making it seem like it's made of metal, but this might just be done to show that it's using Harden. However, the rest of its body looks different too, with a much pointier top of the head, the two points on the sides going more parallel to its body rather than outward, much thicker tail stripes that go further up its body, and its body width is more uniform throughout, rather than it being much wider around the head. It honestly looks like a bug steel Alola form of Metapod. Butterfree is using poison powder, and while at first I thought it had an extra pair of wings, it turns out that's just representing it flapping its wings. Weedle is using poison sting, supposedly? To me, it just looks like it's angry. Kakuna is using Harden and does not appear gray like Metapod did. But what's interesting about this is that it's holding its arms slash stinger things out, and the only other place it's really ever seen doing this is in its original red and blue sprite. Beedrill is using Pin Missile and is actually launching its abdomen stinger like Mega Sceptile does with its tail. To my knowledge, it is never seen doing this anywhere else. Pidgey is using Sand Attack. Nothing crazy here, just showing that it launches the sand by flapping its wings. Pidgeotto is using wing attack, but instead of smacking or slicing with its wing, it's shooting out its feathers like projectiles. Pidgeot is using agility, which looks normal to me. Rattata is using focus energy. 
Like in the games, it's simply surrounded by some kind of glowing energy. Raticate is using Super Fang and looks normal to me. Spiro is using Leer and also looks normal. It's just staring at you. Spiro is using Drill Peck, spinning its entire body to do so. Interestingly, in the anime, while some Pokemon spin their entire bodies to use Drill Peck, every time a Fero is shown using Drill Peck, only its beak spins. Atkins is using Leer, and its eyes are glowing as a result. This is interesting since Spiro using the same move does not have glowing eyes. Arbok is using Acid, and this is the first of many cards that features another Pokemon within the art. Here, Arbok is spraying Acid on a Diglett that honestly looks more annoyed than hurt. Pikachu is using Thunder. Now, while the proportions of it are different than modern Pikachu, that's not the most interesting part since, as we all know, Pikachu's body shape has changed many times over the years. What's fascinating about this art is that it has a distinct belly of a lighter color than the rest of its body. The only other official art of Pikachu that I could find where it has a distinct belly is its original sprites in red, blue, and green. But in these sprites, its belly is darker than the rest of its body, not lighter. Raichu is using Thundershock and looks pretty normal. Sandshrew is using Sand Attack and also looks normal. Sand Slash is using Poison Sting, and may I say it looks really cool doing it. I do think it's interesting that it's using this attack by launching the actual spines on its back rather than just the needle-shaped poison energy like in the anime. Nidoran Female is using Growl and looks normal. Nidorina is using Bite on a disgruntled Voltorb, which to me is just funny. Nidoqueen is using Poison Sting, and to do so, spines are actually jutting out of its body where there normally are none. They aren't firing off though, they're just there. It's pretty strange looking. Nidoran Male is using Leer, but no glowing eyes, just like Spiro. Nidorino is using Focus Energy and looks normal. Nidoking is using Horn Drill and all looks as usual. Clefairy is using Pound, which apparently is used the same way that Double Slap is. Clefable is using Metronome. A subtle detail here is that it has a single fang like Clefairy does, but Clefable isn't shown with that fang in any other art. Vulpix is using Tail Whip, and Ninetales is using Roar. Both of these look normal. Jigglypuff is using Sing. Again, it looks normal. Wigglytuff is using Disable, and is doing so on a very distressed looking Psyduck. This looks like some Frankenstein type stuff to me. Also, Wigglytuff doesn't have a distinct belly like usual. Zubat is using Supersonic and looks normal. Golbat is using Wing Attack, and it's using it in the typical fashion of striking with its wing. This makes Pidgeotto firing off its feathers even more unusual. Oddish is using Sleep Powder, but it looks like it inadvertently did so on itself and then got really high as a result. Gloom is using Solar Beam, and while it looks normal, I do want to say that I really like the retro looking representation of Solar Beam in this art. Wild Plume is using Petal Dance and looks normal. Harris is using Leech Life and is doing so by literally sinking its teeth into a Weedle. This one is pretty unnerving in my opinion. You normally never see violence to this degree in Pokemon. Parasect is using Spore, but super weirdly, instead of making the victim Psyduck fall asleep, it's just making mushrooms start growing on its head. It's super weird. Venonat is using Poison Powder and looks normal. Venomoth is using Psychic and is doing so by blasting circular waves from its eyes, which is definitely not how Psychic is usually portrayed. Diglett is using Dig and looks normal. Dugtrio is using Earthquake, which is amusingly done by it just shaking. Also, the farthest back head seems really upset about it for some reason. Meowth is using Payday and just looks goofy. Persian is using Slash and looks normal. Psyduck is using Scratch and is clearly getting revenge for the other Pokemon attacking it. Golduck is using Confusion, which apparently means just holding out your hand angrily. Speaking of that hand, it has four fingers. While all Golduck art nowadays shows it with three fingers, there are a couple instances of Golduck art very early on where it did have four fingers. Mankey is using Karate Chop and looks normal. Primeape is using Thrash and again looks normal. Actually, at first I thought it was drawn with four arms like Machamp, but like with Butterfree, the extra limbs are only drawn to convey motion. Growlithe is using Ember and looks normal, just a little chubby. Arcanine is using Leer, again with no eyes glowing and looks normal, I guess? 
it just is super cartoony in this drawing, which is definitely not how Arcanine looks nowadays. Poliwag is using hypnosis, but the hypnotic rays are coming from its forehead, not its spiral belly. And I always thought it would come from the spiral belly because that's just what makes sense. Poliwhirl is using water gun, but instead of launching the water from the center of its spiral like it does in the anime, it's launching it out of its hands like my dad used to do at the pool. Although it could just be holding its hands in front of where the water is coming out to streamline it or aim it. Polyrath is using double slap and looks substantially less buff than normal. It looks just like a polywhirl with angry eyes rather than a buff polywhirl with angry eyes like it normally is. Abra is using teleport and looks really cool to me. I like how it's drawn part of the way through its teleportation. Kadabra is using Psybeam on a Poliwag, which amusingly, due to the effects of the attack, has eyes that match its belly. Alakazam is using Reflect, which is strangely just some energy around it, rather than the usual floating wall. Machop is using Low Kick and looks normal. Machoke is using Seismic Toss, but it's unclear whether it's using Seismic Toss on the rock or if throwing the rock is how the attack is done. If the rock is part of the attack, then that's a dramatic deviation from normal. Monchamp is using Mega Kick and looks normal. Bellsprout is using Vine Whip, and the vines are super spindly ones that are actually its root feet growing out really long. This contrasts with how it is shown using it in the anime, where one just shoots out from its torso. Weepin' Bell is using Acid, and from the looks of this art, it is doing so in more ways than one. It's super elongated and is just drooling an absurd amount of acid straight onto the ground. It looks insane. Victory Bell is using Razor Leaf, and while it doesn't look as crazy as Weepin' Bell, it also looks very weird. First off, its head vine splits into three separate vines rather than just one. I could not find any other art of Victory Bell where it has three vines. Additionally, its use of Razor Leaf features it spinning its leaves around its body like a helicopter, rather than throwing out sharp leaves like it does in the anime, or like what Ivysaur is doing from the same set. This whole evolution line in this card set is just odd. Tentacool is using Supersonic, launching the sound waves from its tentacles instead of its forehead like how it's usually seen attacking. Tentacruel is using Constrict on a very annoyed and uncomfortable electrode. Geodude is using Rock Throw, and while at first glance its body seems to have spines, like Nidoqueen using Poison Sting, I think these are here to convey motion. In other words, Geodude is just moving down because it's slamming into the ground like it's using Body Slam. So apparently the rock that it's throwing is itself. Graveler is using Harden and does appear gray, but it's gray in early art anyways, so that's probably normal. Golem is using Explosion, which, oh my god, apparently means just obliterating its own body. Why the freaking hell is this so violent? It is bursting into pieces with dismembered limbs and head and looks happy about it? This is some messed up art. Ponyta is using Fire Spin, with the circling flames actually circling its own body. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it looks super cool. Rapidash is using agility, which looks normal. Just looks like it's running straight at you. Slowpoke is using growl, and also kind of looks like its jaw is made of putty. Slowbro is using amnesia, and looks mostly normal, just with a putty-like jaw similar to Slowpoke. Magnemite is using thundershock, and looks mostly normal, but an interesting uniqueness is its eye. Normally, Magnemite eyes remain level with the rest of its body. So if you removed the screws and the magnets, a perfect sphere would be left. This Magnemite's eye is bulbous and is sticking out from the body. This isn't seen anywhere else. Magneton is using Supersonic and looks normal. Farfetch'd is using Sword Stance, which looks like he's just dancing. Dancing with an incredible amount of smug swagger, I might add. Doduo is using Growl and is amusingly shown with its necks tangled. Dodrio is using Tri-Attack, supposedly? It just looks like it's yelling at something to the left. Seal is using Rest and looks normal. Dugong is using Ice Beam on a very unfortunate ditto, which has comically become lustrous and rigid due to being frozen. Grimer is using Poison Gas and Muck is using Sludge, both of which look normal. Shelter is using Supersonic and again, looks normal. Cloyster is using Spike Cannon, and like Beedrill, is actually shooting off a part of its body that we don't see it detach in any other media. Ghastly is using Nightshade, 
Its eyes are much redder than normal, but I think that's due to it using Nightshade. Pokemon in the anime using that move are often shown with glowing red eyes. Haunter is supposedly using Hypnosis, but it doesn't show the spiral energy waves that Poliwag was shown using for the same move. Gengar is using Dream Eater, and this is probably the funniest art in this entire set. It's literally eating a Snorlax's dream about food. That's hilarious. Onyx is using Rage and looks normal. Drowsy is using Hypnosis, and like Haunter, is not shown shooting off any sort of energy. It's just looking at you. Hypno is using Meditate, and also displaying its impressive hip flexibility. Krabby is using Guillotine on another ditto. Poor thing. Kingler is using Crab Hammer on probably the same ditto, hitting it so hard that chunks of it are splattering off. Jeez, some of this art is harsh. Voltorb is using Light Screen, and both Voltorb and Light Screen look much like how they appear in other media. Electrode is using Explosion, and like Golem, is actually breaking apart its body when using the attack. That is messed up. Execute is using Barrage, and interestingly, this Execute most closely resembles how the species appeared in its red and blue sprite, where there's one egg that is much larger than the others. Executor is using Stomp, playing a game of whack-a-mole with some Diglett. Cubone is using Growl, and I believe this art shows the most of what Cubone's head looks like under its mother's skull. Pretty fascinating. Marowak is using Bone Meringue and looks normal. Hitmonlee is using Jump Kick, and Hitmonchan is using Counter, both of which look normal. Lickitung is using Slam on a Weepin' Bell, which, like in its own card, is extremely elongated. And oh my god, coughing. Coughing is using self-destruct, and it has shattered its own body into pieces with a smile on its face. This is probably the most disturbing art in this entire set to me. This coughing has just shattered its body apart with a smile on its face. Now, I know Electrode and Golem broke apart their own bodies too, but Electrode seems like you could just put the two halves back together, and while Golem's dismembered head and legs are pretty uncomfortable, it's still distinct body segments that look like they could just glue back together. Whereas coughing looks like a shattered wine glass. Like, that doesn't look like something you could fix. Weezing is using haze and thankfully looks normal. Rhyhorn is using focus energy and Rhydon is using takedown and both look normal. Chansey is using sing and again, looks normal. Tangela is using constrict on a crying Psyduck. Psyduck, Ditto, and Diglett just get really beat up in this set. Kangaskhan is using dizzy punch, which apparently looks a lot like sky uppercut. Horsey is using smoke screen and Seedra is using water gun both of which look normal. Goldeen is using Supersonic and looks totally fine. We just learned that it's Supersonic comes from its horn. Seeking is using Horn Drill, and an interesting difference in this art from most Seeking depictions is how skinny the red stripe on the underside of its body is. Most of the time it's shown being much thicker. Staryu is using Swift and looks normal. Starmie is using Water Gun, but the water is coming out of its center gem. In the anime, Starmie's water gun is always shown coming out of the tip of its uppermost limb. Mr. Mime is using Barrier to stop a War Turtle's attack. Scyther is using Sword Stance, so apparently this pose is it dancing. Jinx is using Lovely Kiss and has its original coloring prior to it being changed due to the race's controversy. Electabuzz is using Thunder Punch, but oddly it has the electricity coming out of its antenna rather than its fist. Magmar is using Flamethrower and looks normal. Pinsir is using Guillotine with its pincers bent so far down that it could attack something directly in front of it without bending over. To my knowledge, it is never shown being able to bend its pincers that far down anywhere else. Tauros is using Takedown, again on a very unfortunate Psyduck. Magikarp is using Splash, and Gyarados is using Hyper Beam, both of which look normal. Lapras is using Sing, despite not having any musical notes around it like Chansey and Jigglypuff did. Ditto is using Transform and is apparently frustrated that it can't decide which of the Kanto starters to transform into. This art is pretty bizarre. Like, three different heads just coming out of it? Like, that's weird. Eevee is using Tail Whip and looks normal. Vaporeon is using Mist and also looks normal. Jolteon is using Pin Missile, and apparently the quills it shoots out are actually lightning bolt shaped, so that's a fun tidbit. Flareon is using Fire Spin and looks normal. Porygon is using Tri Attack, which apparently involves it enclosing itself in some kind of electric tetrahedron. I have no idea why it's doing this. Besides, a tetrahedron has 
four sides and four vertices. Like, what does that have to do with tri attack? Ama Knight is using Water Gun and looks normal. Ama Star is using Spike Cannon and, like Beedrill and Cloyster, is firing off parts of its body that we don't see detach anywhere else. Kabuto is using Harden and the shell that is normally brown looks very gray. This is supporting evidence that Metapod was only gray because it too was using Harden. Also, the spots on its shell are yellow circles here, rather than the usual black dots. Kabutops is using Slash and looks normal. Aerodactyl is using Wing Attack on a Slowpoke that has the belly of a Slowbro, oddly enough. Articuno is using Blizzard and looks normal. Zapdos is using Thundershock, which oddly is coming from its feet. Moltres is using Sky Attack and looks normal. Dratini is using Bind on a Charmander, poor guy. Dragonair is using Dragon Rage, and I must say the Energy Dragon looks a lot like a Gariel. Dragonite is using Hyper Beam out of its antenna, when normally it is seen firing it from its mouth. Mewtwo is using Psychic, which apparently just means lifting rocks into the air. Also, its proportions look a bit goofy in this art. And finally, Mew is using Metronome and looking very smug while doing so. So there we have it, that was every card in the Bandai Cardass trading card set. Thanks so much for checking out these weird cards with me, and if you enjoyed this video and want to see some more of my fun Pokemon content, I recommend this video here. Alright, that's all I have for now, so till next time, be fans! Gotta catch them all!